to the next dimension. Hello guys, Undercover Dudes all the way from down. As you can see, I've got some Counter-Strike Source gameplay. And you're thinking, oh, I've got the AWMP right there, the L96. And you're thinking, oh, I'm going to maybe do some gameplay with... But no, this is Counter-Strike. You're thinking, oh, you've swapped to the Scout. What, what game mode is this? This is Gun Game. Gun Game is a mode where pretty much you cycle through 24 weapons. Every weapon in the Counter-Strike arsenal until you get to your knife and then you finish off the game. And the knife isn't the best weapon. It takes like 5 hits. You have to get on an AFK or something. Or more appropriately because you can't get kills on AFKs. They don't rank you up. More appropriately just someone hiding in the corner or something like that. But Gun Game actually originated on Counter-Strike Source. Most people thinking, oh, it originated in Black Ops because that's where it became most popular. No, it actually started on Counter-Strike Source and that's where I first played it. And it's actually a very, very fun mode because it's much, 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 much more he hectic than its count, um, Call of Duty counterpart because in Call of Duty Black Ops you can only get a max of like 6 plays. In this mode, you can get a maximum up to 32 players, I believe, because there's 16 v 16 servers. But this one actually didn't have many, too many people, so it was actually like a 6 v 6. But I've been in modes where it's just absolute carnage, and I think I got one of these in my hard drive or something like that. I lose it, but I'd like to show it to you one day where it's actually absolute carnage. 16 v 16 because you don't you played on teams, not te uh, like deathmatch style free throw. If you're a Call of Duty fan or one man army or something like that, I have to use different phrases because I got fans for different games. But yeah. What happens is that it's not like deathmatch style, free for all and stuff like that. You're actually on team, so the terrorist versus counter terrorist because you can't really just change it. You can't change it. It's always like that. You got your two teams. You can't break the code and get it so you just two all the teams meld together. So you just by yourself. You're with your team. So pretty much, but it isn't a team based game, that's the thing. It's all for yourself. You have to get to those 24 kills first up. And that's what I actually did in this gameplay. I was very proud of it. And thing is, you have to spray a lot because the game is just so hectic. And you might be thinking, oh, it isn't that bad. But when you actually go play, if you haven't got Counter Strike, I think it's like five something dollars in the Steam store and you can buy it online or something like that for even cheap in stores it's like oh, ten dollars or something it's really really cheap fun game heaps of mods and I think I'm going to show you guys a mod a uh, golden eye mod because I found it online and it's absolutely awesome because like GoldenEye 64, you know those game, uh, that game, the first actual FPS they remade it on the Counter Strike on the Source engine to be more appropriate and it's actually, I've seen a couple of gameplays of it. it, is awesome, so I should show a gameplay of that later on whenever I get it in download, but I've seen a couple on YouTube and it looks really, really, really good. Talking about like unorthodox game modes, this, this gun game is very much not true to the Counter-Strike style, because if you think Counter-Strike is a game that's meant to be played in teams, you're supposed to be suppressing each other, you're supposed to be playing as a team, you're supposed to be capturing those objectives or in bombs and defuse and as you could say because there's no domination or something like that capture the flag in counter-strike if I'm not if I'm not aware if that I don't think there's a mod that does account um, capture the flag or something like that I believe the only mods are gun game and then there's surf and then there's just your normal game modes bomb defusal well, that's what I call I call it bomb defusal it's actually a real name to it they just call it you just normal but there's bomb defusal and then there's a the capturing um, the hostages but talking about unorthodox game modes, gun game is just one of the very two, as I said before. Surf is another. Now, if you don't know what surfing is, pretty much is like he's got shapes on the map, and then you go speed along those shapes, and you go up in the air, and you do twists and stuff. Now, I have a friend that actually does that very, very well. He's like trained. He's, I, f I believe he's in the clan. I can't really. I'm not 100% about that, but he's actually really, really good at it. So he can fly up in the air and do tricks and stuff like that. I went on. I completely. Don't I, I died so much. I'm so bad at it. And but you know, it's just a fun break of it. I think these that's what these game modes are made for. Even though they can get your heart pumping as a, like ga a gun game at these very end moments when I'm pulling out my deagle and I'm just on that knife, those final kills. 
I'm like, my heart's pumping because I know I'm going to win this match. And it's very, very, very close. And I'm thinking, yeah, I have to go win this because I want to get a gameplay on YouTube. Because that's why I think when I do my PC gameplay or any gameplay, I want to put this on YouTube. And that's the fun part about it. Now, because these games are quite not very team-based orientated, it's supposed to be something different and something new. And that's why I like it so much. That's why I like this game more than normal modes. Because you don't have to wait. You're straight in the action. You're just playing something for fun. Fun, not competitively and people just go don't go and just cry over because you're not playing as a team and stuff you're not playing serious but as you can see here I chuck my nade I'm finishing off the match I get that last kill and I'm trying to find that last person right there knife and one shot that my teammate went and got most of the HP down but yeah it was a pretty good gameplay and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about gun game on Counter-Strike Source but other than that time for Undercover Dudes all the way from down order out